Welcome. Welcome to Cathedral Yoga. My name is Megan and I'm grateful to be able to be practicing with you today. Thank you for joining us. So to get started, you can either come into child's pose by coming onto your knees, bringing your big toes to touch, take your knees as wide as is comfortable, and then fold forward onto the floor, letting the forehead rest. Arms stretched out in front of you. If this is not comfortable, then you could just come to a seated position with the legs crossed. So from here in child's pose, allow your breath to become your focus point. Allow your breath to gather your awareness into your body and into this present moment. Now you can either leave the palms on the floor outstretched in front of you or bend the elbows and bring the palms to touch prayer mudra over your head. Fingers will face towards the ceiling. Gracious God, Heavenly Father, thank you for this ground below us, this earth around us. Thank you for the breath that sustains us. Thank you for the glory and joyfulness of this Easter season, for our eternal life through the risen Christ. Grant that this practice may strengthen us in body and mind, in flexibility of body and mind. That as we move off of this mat and back out into our lives, that this practice allows us to serve you with courage and faithfulness of heart. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Your hands are folded over your head in prayer mudra. Bring them back to the floor. And then gently walk your hands over to the left. Continuing to allow the arms to frame the head. Move back to that right hip. It might want to come along for the ride. Move the right hip back towards the heel. And then breathe deeply into the right lung. On an inhale, come back to center. And then walk your hands over to the right. Rooting back through the left hip and moving down through the left hand. Just moving to a degree that feels comfortable in your body. As we move through our practice, don't allow anything I say to compromise your health and safety. Always do what is most appropriate for you tonight. And on an inhale, come back to center in child's pose. Find your breath. And as we move through our practice this evening, allow your breath to be just as it is now, flowing smooth and free. Allow it to be deep and nourishing. Aware that it is a gift of life from the Holy Spirit. Feeling the radiance of the aliveness in the body as we breathe and move. On an inhale, begin to use the hands, walking yourself upright. Come on to all fours. So stacking hips over knees, shoulders over the hands, and you can either press the tops of the feet into the mat, or if you've got sensitive knees, you might come onto the balls of the toes. 
Take your gaze down at the floor between your hands. Feel the spine is long. Crown of the head extending towards the front of the mat, tailbone towards the back. As you inhale, lift the tailbone, drop the belly, heart draws forward and up. You might gaze towards the ceiling. Exhale, tuck the tailbone, draw the belly up towards the spine and round the shoulders like a cat at Halloween. You might gaze at your navel. Inhale, tailbone lifts, heart draws forward and up. Exhale, tailbone tucks, shoulders round. Now continue with your own breath at your own pace. Allowing the breath to initiate the movement and allowing your awareness to move with the body. Bringing a sense of love and curiosity to the movement. And then we'll all meet back in tabletop. Take a moment to notice how you feel. And then step the right foot back and press through the right heel. Just opening up the back of the right leg. Now bring the heel back over the ball of the foot. Turn that inner right thigh up towards the ceiling. And then imagine that you're going to pull weight out of that right leg. Maybe you actually do. And lift that right leg up towards the ceiling. Bring it towards hip height. Flexing the right foot. Then you can either stay here, pressing through that right heel, or if you'd like, you can lift that left arm towards shoulder height, palm facing the right, fingers spread wide. Hug everything in towards the center of the body, hugging the navel up towards the spine for support. Take one more inhale, and then exhale, come back to all fours. Pick up your right arm, open your chest towards the right, make gaze up at the ceiling. And then as you exhale, sweep that right arm under your chest. Come onto the back of the right arm, back of the shoulder, and rest the right side of your head on the floor. Prong up your left fingers at the top of your mat to guide the depth of the twist. Again, paying attention to what feels good in your body and allowing this practice to be Soothing, yet challenging, but respectful of where you are today. On an inhale and wind, come back up to center. Reset your foundation and step the left foot back, coming on the ball of the left foot, and then pressing the heel back. Bring the heel back over the toes. Roll that inner left thigh towards the ceiling, and then maybe you just play with taking weight out of that left foot. Maybe you lift it to hip height, flexing the foot. And maybe you lift that right arm, palm faces the left, coming into full bird dog pose. Let there be freedom in the back of the neck, and let your breath be smooth and deep. Take one more inhale. And then as you exhale, release, coming back down to all fours. Inhale, reach up with that left arm, opening the chest to the left, and then exhale, sweep that left hand under you, coming onto the back of the left arm, resting the left side of the face on the mat, and pronging up your right fingertips at the front of the mat to help guide the depth of the twist. Breathing deeply into the right lung, Enjoying this ringing out of the spine. And on an inhale, come back up to all fours. Now, maybe you come into child's pose again, taking the hips back towards the heels and bringing the head to the floor. If you'd like to move into downward facing dog, tuck the toes. And as you exhale, press the hips up and back, taking the heels towards the floor, pressing the thighs towards the ceiling, pressing the head back so that the arms frame the ears. Allow the head to hang heavy, but draw the shoulder blades towards the lower back. And here you might walk your dog, bending one knee and then the other. 
you're in child's pose or down dog, either one, we're pressing firmly into the index finger and thumb now, gripping the mat firmly with the fingertips and feeling integrity through the arms. But soften the elbows slightly. And if you're walking the dog, go ahead and find some stillness. We all breathe into the chest. And as we exhale, gently squeeze the belly to squeeze out the air. Continue to press the hips and the thighs up and back towards the ceiling if you're in down dog. If you're in child's pose, come on up to all fours. If you're in down dog, bend your knees and look forward. And then after we exhale, we'll all step to the front of the mat. Toes facing forward, feet hip distance apart, hinging at the hips and folding the belly over the thighs. Bend the knees as much as you need to to feel a nice little stretch in the backs of the legs. Let your head hang heavy, but continue to draw your shoulder blades towards the lower back. You might take opposite elbows hanging in ragdoll. And you might Shake the head yes, shake the head no, releasing tension in the neck. You might sway the hips. But let the exploration of movement feel good, not punishing. Let it just be curious and not judgmental. We'll all bring our hands to the shins. Inhale, lift halfway, lengthening heart away from tailbone. You might look forward. Exhale, bow and fold again. Press down firmly through your feet and as you inhale, arms sweep out to the side, reaching you all the way up. Hands might touch over the head. You might gaze up at the fingers and then exhale, hands to your heart. We'll flow through a few um, stationary swan dives. So inhale, arms sweep and reach. Exhale, bow and fold, hinging at the hips. Hands to the shins, inhale, look forward. Exhale, bow and fold. Inhale, arms sweep and reach, bringing us upright. Exhale, hands to the heart. Again, inhale, arms sweep and reach. Exhale, bow and fold. Inhale, lengthen, look forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root down, rise up. Exhale, hands to the heart. Bring your hands to your hips. And take a moment to find your breath. Notice how you feel. Notice how this movement and breath is already affecting the body. The radiant sensations of aliveness within. And then as you inhale, Lift the chest, you might gaze upward. And as you exhale, just slight bend to the knees, draw the heart forward, hinge at the hips, and drape the torso over the thighs. Bend the knees as much as you need to. And either bring peace fingers and thumbs and wrap them around the big toe, or maybe you bring your hands to the backs of the calves or the ankles. Draw the shoulder blades towards the lower back. Press down evenly through the big toe mound, pinky toe mound, the center of the heel. Let the head hang heavy. And instead of trying to force the forward bend, as you inhale, just feel the sides of the waist lengthen and the tailbone and the thighs press upward. The crown of the head extending away from the tailbone. And as you exhale, feel yourself soften. Inhaling, feeling that space and length opening. And then exhale, soften. Notice where you can release tension and effort. Now we'll all bring our hands to the hips. The slight bend to the knees, pressing down firmly through the feet. Inhale, come all the way up with a flat back. Bring the hands down to the sides. 
And then step the feet hip distance apart if you're not already there. And then slide the left foot back, letting the hips continue to face forward. Left toes face forward, right toes face forward. And you might walk your right foot a little to the right, your left foot a little to the left, and that gives the hip space to face forward. So press that left hip back or forward, draw the right hip back so they're evening out. Inhale, arms float up to frame the ears. Turn the pinky fingers slightly in. And as you exhale, right knee bends, warrior one. So pressing down firmly through both feet. Imagine hugging the thighs towards one another. Pull the navel in towards the spine for support. Make sure that right knee is not collapsing in towards the center of the mat, but pressing towards the outer edge. Soften the shoulders away from your ears as you gently lift the heart. You might even gaze upward. And then on your next exhale, right leg straightens, arms float down. Pick up your left foot and step it a little closer towards the back of the mat. Maybe lining up the outer edge of the left foot with the back edge of the mat and bringing the left arch in line with the right heel. When you're ready, arms float up, palms face the floor. Gaze out over your right fingertips, take an inhale. And as you exhale, right knee bends, warrior two. Again, pressing down evenly through all four corners of the feet, rooting down through the tailbone, reaching up through the whole front of the spine. Soften your shoulders. You draw your shoulder blades together across the back of the rib cage, but then reach through the fingertips. Find your breath, soften your gaze. Drop the left hand to the left thigh. Inhale, reach up with that right hand. And as you exhale, drop the right hand towards the left foot. Coming into Sky Warrior. Might gaze up at the ceiling, under that right arm. You can straighten that right leg if you need to. Smooth, steady breath. On an exhale, let that right arm draw you upright. And then let it float down as the front leg straightens. Now pick up the left foot and step the left heel in line with the right. So setting up for a triangle pose. When you're ready, bring your arms up, shoulder height, palms face the edge of your mat. Reach out through the fingertips. I love you so much. Gaze out over your right thumb. Take an inhale. And as you exhale, press the hips towards the back of the mat as you reach the right hand forward. And then bring the right hand down to the inside of the right calf as the left hand reaches up towards the ceiling. Maybe the right hand rests on the shin or the fingers reach down towards the ankle. But press the hand into the leg to help spiral the heart open towards the left side of your mat. And either gaze up at that left thumb or down at your right big toe. See if you can feel length on both sides of the waist. On an inhale, let that left arm draw you upright. Exhale, arms float down. Turn to face the long edge of your mat. Then turn your toes out so that they're facing the same direction as your knees. Take an inhale, and then as you exhale, Knees bend, hips sink, bring your hands to the tops of the knees. Take an inhale here, and then as you exhale, dip the right shoulder towards the center of the mat, opening your chest towards the left. Inhale to center, exhale, dip the left shoulder towards the center of the mat, and open your chest towards the right. Inhale to center, exhale, dipping the right shoulder, Inhale, turn back to center. Exhale, dip the left. Inhale, back to center. And then exhale, straighten the legs. Heel toe the feet together. Take a moment, notice how you feel, and then come back to the front of your mat. We'll do the other side. So 
So stepping feet hip distance apart if you're not already there. When you're ready, slide your right foot back. Right toes will turn towards the front of the mat. Left toes continue to face forward. And try to even out the hips by drawing that left hip back, pressing the right hip forward. And finding a comfortable distance between the feet that feels supported. When you're ready, inhale, arms float up to frame the ears. Exhale, left knee bends. Make sure that left knee is over the left ankle and not in front of it. And that that left knee is pressing towards the outer edge of the left foot and not caving in. So the whole front of the spine, stretching upward, heart radiating, Stalking your shoulders, reach through the fingertips, and then on an exhale, straighten your front leg and let your arms float down. Pick up your right heel and step your right foot a little more towards the back of your mat, right edge of, outside edge of your right foot, parallel to the back of the mat. Bring your arms up to shoulder height, gaze out over your left fingertips, take an inhale, and as you exhale, left knee bends, warrior two. Draw the shoulder blades together across the back of the ribcage as you reach through the fingers. Soften the heads of the shoulders, soften your gaze, find your breath. Bring the right hand down to the right thigh. Inhale, reach up with the left arm. Again, you can straighten that left leg if you need to. And as you exhale, let that left arm drop towards the back of the mat. You might gaze up at the ceiling under that left arm, coming into Sky Warrior. On an inhale, let that left arm bring you back to Warrior Two. And then exhale, arms float down, left leg straightens. Bring your right heel in line with the left heel. When you're ready, bring your arms up to shoulder height, palms face the long edge of your mat, gaze out over your left fingertips. Take an inhale. And as you exhale, that left hand reaches towards the left as your hips point or press towards the back of the mat. And then bring that left hand down to the inside of the left calf, maybe to the shin. Right arm reaches up. And maybe you gaze at that right thumb and gaze down at your left big toe. Reaching those bottom left ribs towards the ceiling, you feel length along both sides of the leg. Softening that left knee. On an inhale, use that right arm to draw you upright. Exhale, arms float down. Turn to face the long edge of your mat. Turn your toes in and your heels out. Bring your hands to your hips. Inhale, lengthen your spine. And as you exhale, fold forward, pressing your hips back as you draw your heart forward. When you're ready, bring your hands to the floor under your shoulders. And let your chest Fold, hinging at the hips. Bend your knees as much as you need to, to feel freedom in the lower back. Let your head hang heavy, but draw the shoulder blades towards the lower back. Find your breath. Some people might enjoy taking hold of the ankles here and using them for a little leverage. floor if they're on your ankle. Inhale, lift halfway, look forward. Exhale, fold. And then begin to walk your hands towards the front of the mat. Pivot onto the ball of the back foot, press your palms firmly into the floor, and then step the 
front foot back, coming into plank position. You can bring the knees to the floor if you'd like. Take an inhale, and as you exhale, heart draws forward, and with control, slowly lower down. Knees, chest, chin, touch first. And then exhale, press the feet towards the back of the mat. Draw the hands back under your shoulders. And then as you inhale, lift head, shoulders, and chest into cobra. Exhale, release. Inhale, head, shoulders, and chest lift. Cobra. Exhale, release. Again, inhale, head, shoulders, and chest lift. And this time we'll stay here for a few rounds of breath. Pressing the tops of the feet firmly into the mat. You might play with taking weight out of the hands. Take one more inhale. And as you exhale, release. Rest your chin and your forehead on the mat. Tuck your toes. Firm the elbows in towards the rib cage. And as you inhale, press yourself up to all fours. And then exhale, hips back to the heels, child pose. Now you can stay here in child's pose, or you can get ready for downward facing dog by coming up to all fours, tucking the toes, and on an exhale, take the hips up and back, downward facing dog. If you're in child's pose, come on up to all fours. If you're in down dog, bend your knees and look forward, and then we'll all after we exhale, step our feet to the front of the mat, coming into a forward fold. As you inhale, root down, rise up, come all the way to standing. Exhale, hands to the heart. Now we'll get ready for a balancing pose. So you might step off of your mat. Sometimes it's easier to navigate balance if we're not um, navigating that squishiness under our feet. You could also stand next to a wall or a chair. So prepare to take weight into the left foot. Kickstand the right foot inside of the left ankle, letting the right knee drop out to the right. Pull the hips up under you and firm the muscles around the leg. Now if you'd like, you might bring that right foot up to the inside of the left calf, maybe to the inside of the thigh. Press leg into foot, foot into leg. Find a steady gazing point on the floor in front of you and bring your palms firmly to touch. Anjali Mudra in front of the heart. Thumbs gently reminding the sternum to lift. Enjoy this conversation of balance. Interlace your fingers, press your palms towards the ceiling. Bring the palms to touch. Let them float back down to the heart, and then release. Shake it out. And then we'll do the other side. So prepare to take weight into the right foot. Kickstand left foot inside of right ankle. Maybe left calf up to the shin, or calf, maybe up to the thigh. Palms touch, Anjali Mudra in front of the heart. Elbows wide. Smooth, deep breath. Press your, interlace your palms, your fingers, press your palms towards the ceiling. Knit the lower ribs in. Soften your elbows, soften your shoulders. Bring your palms to touch, bring them back down to the heart, and then exhale, release. Shake it off. Come back to the front of your mat, noticing how you feel. And then inhale, arms to the knees. Exhale, bow and fold, hinging at the hips. Inhale, lengthen, look forward. Exhale, step your left foot back. Bring your left knee to the floor, low lunge. Fingers um, pronged up under the shoulders. 
Right knee stacked over right ankle. Then walk your hands up to the right thigh and press the thigh away. Letting the hips drop towards the floor, but continue to imagine that you're hugging the thighs towards one another. If you'd like, you can release the arms up to frame the ears. And then bring your right hand down to the top of the right thigh, left hand down under the left shoulder, inhaling through the spine, exhale, twist to the right, using that right hand on the thigh for support and guiding the depth of the twist. If you'd like, you might lift that left ankle, reach back with your right hand and take hold of the left foot or the left ankle. Gently opening up the back or the top of the left leg. If you've got hold of the left foot, release it and slowly bring the left foot back to the floor. Bring your right hand down to the inside of the right foot, coming into lizard pose. Might feel nice to let the right foot roll to the outer edge, maybe turn those toes to the front corner of the mat. If you'd like, you could come down onto the forearms. If you're on your forearms, come back up. Your foot is open to the side, bring the sole of the foot back to the floor. Walk your right hand back to the outside of the right foot, prong up your fingers, and then slide that right foot back. Tuck the toes, coming into tabletop. And then exhale, hips up and back, downward facing dog. On an exhale, bend your knees, look forward, step to the front of the mat. Inhale, lengthen, look forward, exhale, bow and fold. Prong up your fingers under your shoulders and step your right foot back. Coming on the ball of the right foot and bring your right knee to the floor, low lunge, left side. Again, drawing the thighs towards one another, evening out the hips, and then letting the hips sink to the floor. Walk your hands up to the left thigh and press the thigh away. If you'd like, you can reach up the arms to frame the ears. your breath to flow. Bring the left hand down to the left thigh, right hand down to the floor under the right shoulder. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, open the chest towards the left. Now from here you might lift up that right foot, reach back with that left hand, taking hold of the ankle or the foot. Opening up the top of the right leg. You've got hold of that right foot or ankle, gently release it and slowly bring the foot back to the floor. Bring your left hand to the inside of the left foot. You might walk the left foot out to the left. Again, you can turn the toes towards the front left corner. You might let the knee drop out to the side, coming onto the outer edge of the left foot. And you can stay here on the hands or you could walk down onto the forearms. Finding your breath. And breathing deeply into the sensation. If you're on your forearms, walk back up to the palms. Bring your left hand to the outside of the left foot. Prong up your fingers. Slide that left foot back, coming onto all fours, palms down. And then take the hips back towards the heels, child's pose. Rest your head. Find your breath. Walk your hands towards your knees, coming up right. Roll over one hip or the other. Come to sit sitting. Feet in front of the hips, toes facing the front of the mat. Bring your hands under the knees and take backs of the thighs. Sit up tall. Feel your sit bones rooting down. Take an inhale. Lift the chest. 
and then begin to lower your back towards the mat until you feel weight come out of the feet. You might stay here playing with taking weight out of the feet. Maybe you lift one calf so that it's parallel to the floor, maybe both. You can use the hands on the backs of the thighs to help lift the chest and keep yourself on your sit bones. And if you can do it without slouching, you can release the arms out in front of you like you're holding a beach ball. Take one more inhale, you might lift a little higher. Exhale, release. Hug your knees. Sit up tall again. Bring your arms out in front of you like you're holding that beach ball. Take an inhale. And as you exhale one vertebrae at a time, begin to lower all the way back down. Bring your hands to the floor whenever you need to. And when you get all the way down, hug the knees into the chest. You might rock from side to side. Place the left foot on the floor in front of the left hip. Hug the right knee in. Now take the right ankle and place it over the left knee. And take your right hand to the inside of the right thigh and press the thigh away. Flex the right foot. You might stay here, or if you'd like, you could lift that left foot off of the floor and interlace your fingers behind the thigh or on top of the left shin. Soften your chest and your shoulders. Allow your breath to flow freely. Breathing deeply into the sensation. Release whatever you're holding onto and cross right knee over left knee. Now that left foot can still be on the floor. Or if your legs are lifted, bring your hands either to your shins, your ankles, or to the outer edges of your feet. And gently guide your knees in towards the chest. If your lower back is rolling up off the floor, press your tailbone towards the front of your mat. Then softening your shoulders, finding your breath. Release whatever you're holding onto and cross your legs. We'll all hug our knees into the chest. Send your right arm out, palm facing up. Bring your left hand to the outside of the right knee. And as you exhale, let your knees drop over to the left. If they don't comfortably make it to the floor, place a block or a blanket or a pillow under them. You can either gaze at your right hand you could gaze towards the left or at the ceiling. Let your right shoulder soften towards the floor. Noticing your breath in this twist. On an inhale, come back up to center. Place the right foot on the floor in front of the right hip and hug in that left knee. Place the left ankle over the right knee and then into figure four, flex your left foot. Use your left hand to press that thigh away. Either stay here or pick up that right foot, flex the right foot, and then interlace your fingers behind the right thigh or on top of the right shin. You might notice one side feels different and needs something different than the other. Just take note and respect whatever your body is asking for tonight. Soften your shoulders, find your breath. Let your back rest gently into the mat. Release whatever you're holding onto and cross left knee over right. If your feet are off of the floor, either take your shins, your ankles, or the outer edges of your feet guiding your knees in towards the chest, flexing both feet. Release whatever you're holding on to, uncross your legs, 
We'll all hug our knees into the chest. Bring your right hand to the outside of the left knee and extend your left arm out, palm facing up. Take an inhale, and as you exhale, let your knees drop over to the right. Again, if they don't make it to the floor, place something under them to catch them, protecting the lower back. Let that left shoulder release towards the floor. Breathing deeply and freely. And then inhale, come back up, hug the knees in. Place the feet on the floor in front of the hips. Feet hip distance apart, toes facing forward. Bring your hands to the floor, next to your hips, palms facing down, elbows close to your ribcage. And then bend the elbows and bring the palms to face one another over your belly. As you exhale, press your lower back into the mat. And as you inhale, lift your hips, press your pelvis up towards the ceiling. You might begin to walk your shoulder blades under you. Make sure that there's space under the neck, and if your neck is pressing into the floor, adjust your head so that there's space between the neck and the floor. We're drawing the chest towards the chin. Press down firmly into the ground with all four corners of your foot. If your knees are splaying out to the side, hug them in towards one another. Find your breath. See if you can release the tension and activity in your glutes and just let your thighs hold you up. Notice how that feels. We'll take one more inhale, and as you exhale, one vertebrae at a time, start releasing back down to the floor. Tailbone comes down last. Draw your knees in towards your chest. This time, take your knees wide so they're moving towards your armpits. And you can either stay here, or you can come into happy baby by extending the feet towards the ceiling. Keep the knees bent. You can either take your ankles or the inner or outer edges of your feet. Press your hip creases forward so the lower back's not rolling up. You're holding on to your legs, release them, bring your feet to the floor, bring the soles of the feet together and let your knees drop out to the side. If you've got a couple of blocks or blankets, you can place one under each outer leg to help catch the upper leg so that you can really release the tension on the inner thigh. We'll all bring our hands to the outsides of the legs and then press the knees up together. Bring the feet back to the floor in front of the hips. Now grab a block or a blanket if you've got one. When you're ready, Lift your hips and place the block blanket or even a pillow under the hips, under the bottom of the tailbone. Once you feel secure, bring the knees in towards the chest and extend your feet up towards the ceiling, coming into waterfall pose. If you've got space, you might even scooch up against the wall and rest your legs on the wall. Notice your breath here. Find yourself being present with the sensations of this reversal of gravity.
Pull your knees in towards your chest. Bring your feet back to the floor. Pick up your hips, remove the block or the blanket. And then prepare for Shavasana. Extending your legs out. Feet as wide as is comfortable. Letting your arms drop out to the side, palms facing up. You might cover up with a blanket. If you've got a pillow or a blanket that you can roll up and place under the thighs to help bring a bend to the knees. That's wonderful for the lower back. When you're ready, close your eyes. Make any adjustments that you need to to be able to remain still for this meditation portion of our practice. You might allow your awareness to move towards any sounds around you, taking note of them. And instead of fighting them and thinking that they shouldn't be there, whatever they are, accept them as part of the lived experience of this moment, allowing them, inviting them. Notice how it feels to not think that there's something wrong with the sounds in our meditation practice. Allow your breath to flow deeply. Feel the air around you. And then the ground beneath you. Feel the support, the life-giving support of the air as you are breathed into this gift of life and grace. Feel the support of the earth beneath you, holding you gently. And each time we practice Shavasana, it's as if we are entering into the tomb. It is a little mini death. We are letting go of the belief that we need to be doing something and we are handing this time back to God. It is God's time. And we're simply acknowledging that and resting as God has commanded us to do. So as you inhale, feel the Holy Spirit filling you with life-giving breath. And as you exhale, feel yourself letting go, letting go. the breath to flow freely and allow your breath to draw you deeper inward resting at that place in your consciousness between sleep and wakefulness Thoughts arise, notice that you're thinking what they are, notice that you've even noticed, and ever so lovingly come back to resting in the presence of God.
understand the love the Lord Jesus has for us. We will never understand how much he loves us. But this I know, that he loves you. He loves you with all of his heart, and you are so precious to him. May Lord Jesus be with you in all your ways. May he shepherd you the length of all your days. And in your heart, may he receive the praise. I pray that his grace will abound and motivate everything you do. May the fullness of his love be shared through you. May his spirit comfort you and make you strong. And in your heart, may he give you song. This is my prayer for you. You can stay here as long as you would like, resting deeply in the presence of God, allowing the practice to be assimilated and digested into the body. But if you need to move on, you might deepen your breath. Wiggle your fingers and your toes. Any small movements to help wake up the body. If you've got space overhead, you might stretch the arms away from the legs. Breathing deeply. And as you exhale, hug your knees into your chest. You might rock from side to side, eventually rolling over to your right side, resting your head on your upper arm, keeping your eyes closed if you can, or gently gazing into the distance. Your eye would leave softness in your face and softness in your eyes. As you're ready, use your left hand to press yourself up to a comfortable seat. Bring your palms to touch Anjali Mudra, prayer mudra. Gently bow your head. Take a moment here. Share yourself with God. Perhaps giving thanks, expressing gratitude for anything or everything in today. Thank you for practicing.